So Pete, um, how does vSAN two node work? Yeah, John. So I think to really understand a two node environment, you just have to take a step back and look at what and how vSAN uh, basically works. Like let's say in a three node cluster. In a three node cluster, we would have uh, two of the hosts that would be responsible for having some of the data. And then the third host would be having the witness component. A vSAN two node arrangement works very similar with the exception that uh, that the third host is actually just a virtualized um, witness host appliance. And that's exclusively responsible for holding the witness components. It, it's never going to hold any data. Uh, so then that way, the two node uh, topology can have the two uh, data nodes directly connected uh, to each other. This offers uh, an extremely you know, reasonably affordable um, arrangement for a lot of these edge cases, uh, and um, yet you still have the ability to have uh, the data fully resilient in this way. And it, in a lot of ways, it shares similarities with our uh, stretch cluster topology, except for the fault domains, instead of being on a, a per site basis, they're just on a, a per host basis. So if the, the fault domains are on a on a per host basis, kind of taking that analogy back with stretch clustering, we have RAID between sites and then we have RAID within a site. Uh, does that mean that now I can do RAID within a host? Yeah, so now thanks to uh, vSAN 7 Update 3, you will be able to uh, provide a secondary level of resilience in a two node topology. So in the case where you have uh, two hosts where they have multiple disk groups, let's say three disk groups, uh, you can um, set that secondary level of resilience so that you can ensure that the data is going to remain available if you have more than one failure. So like, let's say you have one of the hosts go down uh, followed by an additional uh, disk group on the second host. In those scenarios, uh, the data is still going to be available, which is really great for a lot of these environments where they're going to be running the two node topology, but they have really mission critical applications and uh, data that they run on there. That's really awesome. I got four copies of data. So I've got, you know, a small package, two node directly connected. So I don't have to go buy expensive switching. Um, I can do 100, 100 gig storage, 100 gig vMotion there. However, you know, I configure those NICs. But I also get a resiliency level that previously would have required a lot, you know, at least five hosts or in a traditional, you know, array environment, like some giant mesh or a, a metro. This is this is a lot of resiliency. It really is. And many, you know, that are responsible for uh, the design and the topology layout of their environments should really revisit uh, how they're doing some of these edge scenarios and uh, take advantage of this opportunity to uh, create a really robust environment where that data is fully resilient and uh, can fully accommodate a number of uh, failure scenarios. Yeah, before people would have said, well, you know, if you are limited on budget, you can go two node, but you really might want to try to go three or four. It looks like it, it, you might just want to go kind of this ultra dense two node, you know, as a, as a much more resilient even starting point. So it's good to see.